Good evening, I'm Faye Barker. This is ITV News London. Well, it was closer than expected, but late last night it was confirmed that Sadiq Khan has secured his second term as London mayor. His Conservative rival, Sean Bailey, wasn't far behind and Green Party candidate, Sean Berry, was third. Well, Sadiq Khan has now pledged to build a better and brighter future for the capital following the pandemic. Our political correspondent, Simon Harris, reports. Social distancing left the candidates looking like contestants in a scary game show. But this was the only way they could stand together in City Hall's chamber late last night to hear the result. I therefore declare Sadiq Aman Khan elected as the Mayor of London. Sadiq Khan said he was humbled by the result and he wanted to reset his relationship with Downing Street by... Building bridges between City Hall and the government because we must all work together to build a brighter, greener and more equal future for London and for our entire country after the pandemic. When first preference votes were counted, Sadiq Khan was on 40%, Sean Bailey not far behind on 35%, Sean Berry for the Greens on almost 8% and the Liberal Democrats Louisa Porritt got just over 4%. In the second round, the vote split was 55 to 45 per cent. Sadiq Khan's winning majority of 228,000 was smaller than the 300,000 plus majority in 2016. This was a much closer race than everyone predicted. It was, and I'm just so humbled by the amount of support Londoners gave me. Look, if I was given an extra month or so, I probably could have won. For 16 of the 20 candidates, the election had an added cost. They all lost their £10,000 deposit after failing to get enough votes. One of Sadiq Khan's first jobs is to hire a new top team after four of his most senior aides announced they were leaving City Hall. It's also all change at the London Assembly. Almost half of the Assembly members are new. Labour is the largest group with 11 seats, enough to ensure the Mayor's policies aren't blocked by opposition parties. But the Conservatives aren't planning to let Mr Khan enjoy any kind of honeymoon. He needs to get a grip of what he's responsible for, not spend millions of pounds removing our statues. He needs to be concentrating on what he's put in there to do. Veteran Assembly member Caroline Pigeon is no longer a lone Liberal Democrat voice. We've doubled the number of people at City Hall and what that means is we're going to be pushing for jobs, clean air and homes in London and we'll be pushing this mayor to make sure he keeps to his promises. The Greens had a good election, winning three seats and coming third in the mayoral race. Will you stand again? We have about three years until the next election. I have 18 months to decide on that question, so watch this space. Tomorrow, Sadiq Khan will be sworn in as mayor for the next three years. Simon Harris, ITV News, City Hall. And if you want to take a closer look at the election results where you live, just head over to our website. Now, detectives investigating the murder of a woman found dead in Romford on Tuesday have released images of a man they'd like to speak to. They want anyone to come forward who recognises him, seen here travelling on a 364 bus towards Dagenham late on Monday night. 45-year-old Maria Rawlings was last seen earlier that evening. Now let's take a look at today's sport. Keeping up to date. Hi. Hi, hi. Proud sponsors of ITV Regional Sports Report. Chelsea are champions again. Chelsea have been crowned champions of the Women's Super League. They thrashed Reading 5-0 this afternoon to clinch the title for the second season in a row. It's a record fourth time they've lifted the trophy. Meanwhile, in the Premier League, West Ham were hoping a win against Everton could keep their hopes of competing in Europe alive. However, they lost 1-0. Elsewhere, Arsenal kick off shortly at home to West Brom. Right, let's check all the weather now. Here's Helen Plint. Hello again. A very good evening to you. Well, after the warm weather of today, temperatures likely to moderate a little through the new week. But of course, compared to the chilly conditions we started the month with, still feeling pretty generous. 
a fair few blustery showers knocking around as well though but still some sunshine to be had this messy nature of course all thanks to low pressure which is sticking around for quite some time so those circling winds throwing in the showers the most frequent of those monday but still some stragglers tuesday and wednesday but or our next feature likely to affect us later in the week for now though actually the bulk of the action reserved for overnight tonight you can see this feature pushing up from the south this is likely to bring torrential downpours for a time maybe even thunder and lightning as it's all going to be really quite muggy minimum temperatures though just 10 to 12 degrees in built-up spots still quite breezy as well and actually by the time most of us are up at about first thing tomorrow morning that wet weather long forgotten as a result, not a bad start to the week at all. Cheerful sunshine managing to come through. But yes, you guessed it, those showers never far away and they really crop up as the day wears on. So bustling through on quite a breeze as a result where we get the showers, it's not exactly going to feel pleasant. But in sheltered, sunnier spots, we will really feel the warmth of that sunshine. Up to 17 degrees tomorrow and a very similar story through Tuesday and Wednesday, but fewer showers all round as our temperatures just drop off a little. Bye-bye. Lisa, it's looking a little warmer, but that is it from the London team for now. We'll be back tomorrow morning with all the latest in Good Morning Britain. Until then, do have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.